Hello YouTube, what I'm going to be showing you is the Trick Dream Warpy. Now, um, some of you might already know this and some of you might not. Uh, so, basically warping is when you distort a certain image and just make it a little funky and stuff like that. Um, <clears throat> well, a little trick, let me just show you. You press Control T. Control T. Let me just go to there. Unlock it. Because apparently my Control T doesn't want to work. There. Now, Control T, or you can right click and uh, free transform. Um, this little thing up here on the top is the warping tool. And um, it gives you nine spaces for you to warp. But once you start warping this, everything seems to move around, right? And let's say you just want to warp the eyes or um, you want to, I don't know, make a page scribble or something like that. And you just want the corners warped. Let me just go ahead and zoom in to this. Okay, uh, what you do is you get either any of these or your pen tool, if you want to be more precise kind of thing, uh, the Marquise tool. Now, let's say you just want to warp this section, right? Then you click, right click, free transform, or control T. And then you just go ahead and click warp. And then you could just go ahead and start bringing this in in case you want it to look like if it's like a page flip or something like that. Um, you control and deselect, and you have this little thing here. You can go ahead and like add like effects to it, like a drop down shadow or anything to make it look like if it's uh, um, actually flipping away from the page. Uh, opacity would be like a hundred. Distance, you can put it like right there. Uh, Maybe spread it out a little bit more, or just keep it whatever. Um, you could size it up like so it could give a little bit more shadow on the corner right here. And uh, there, it looks like a page is being ripped off or stuff like that. Um, there's other ways around it, but I found that this way is a lot simpler. And when it comes to warping, I do a lot of um, print covers and book covers for people. And they tend to send me like the most distorted front covers and they want me to recreate it or rebuild it. And doing this actually helps out a lot. Now when I say the pen tool, you can also go ahead and do like a little, let's say a little circle around like a little heart. You know, I totally suck when it comes to hearts. Like seriously suck. You make a selection. Also okay. And then you can go ahead and warp this out and put like something underneath. Um, I don't know if you understand what I'm saying. Um, but yeah, you press Control T. And go ahead and warp this baby. It's gonna get off from the page. Um, of course, that's what we kind of like want. And then we'll bring this out like up here. Like if it's again, like if it's um. Kind of like peeling off, kind of effect. Uh, effect. Oh, control D. Keep it selected, and then double click, and then just add the drop down shadow, just like we did before. Um, as you can see, over here on the sides, kind of looks like if it's like shaping out, and distant it out, and all that. Um, but yeah, like that's one of the tricks that you can use from warping. Um, keep up, uh, subscribe to my channel if you guys want to see a little bit more. Um, I'm going to be doing little stuff like this on Photoshop, stuff that people don't tend to know or that uh, are just starting off in Photoshop. And that's it. Don't forget to rate, comment, subscribe, and y'all have a good day.